This is going to be a quick overview of how to set up a Windows PC to access Desktop Anywhere, a teleworking solution provided by AFRC. Uh, Desktop Anywhere is an app that will connect you to a virtual computer inside the Nippernet at Robbins Air Force Base. It keeps government information on government systems while allowing access from a home computer. Uh, it's different from the government VPN connected laptops that you might have used previously, as you won't need to check out any hardware and the desktop environment will be all virtual. You'll be accessing things just like you were sitting on base. Keep that in mind while you're using your web browser. You need to maintain situational awareness. Stay mindful of PII and keep your workstation locked while not in use. It would be like leaving your Nipper desktop at work open for, for any unauthorized user to access it. Uh, this is the process overview for setup. Before getting started, you'll need to read and sign a telework agreement and submit it to the unit for approval. Uh, you'll need a CAC reader. The unit may have readers available. The SCR3310 gray reader is the most common type. You've probably seen them on the desks at work. They can be purchased from AFES and Amazon and are fairly inexpensive. The DOD root certificates are how a computer knows it can trust that sites are legitimate. Uh, commercial Windows and Macs do not come preloaded with DOD certs. When you go to the Air Force portal and only see an error page, you probably need to install the DOD root certificates. Uh, to access some of the software and resources, we'll have to log into the Air Force portal. The active card middleware assists Windows in accessing your CAC. If you are accessing Outlook Web Access and you are prompted for your PIN repeatedly, you probably need to install the active client middleware. Uh, the Desktop Anywhere software is a commercial product from VMware that allows your computer to connect to and create a session with a virtual PC at Robbins. Uh, once Horizon is installed and a reboot is performed, you'll enter in the address of the server at Robbins and you'll log in with your cat card and PIN just like a normal computer. Uh, OneDrive will connect to a folder on your virtual computer to a server and from there you'll be able to access those files that you saved uh, anywhere on Nipper and it's pretty useful. Um, in the video, I, I like to use search because I think it's more intuitive and easier to follow. Uh, here are the direct links. I'll try to have them included in the description along with this video. Uh, disclaimer, militarycac.com isn't a government site, but it has been a helpful resource for many years. Um, given current events, teleworking is in high demand. This will affect performance and availability of the system. It might be necessary to flex on access times when there is less use. It can be frustrating, to put it mildly. Uh, additional assistance is available over the phone and on social media. The AFRC setup guide in the portal is a great resource. Um, you might not need every step in this guide. If you already have the DoD root search installed, or if you already have active client, there's no need to reinstall. So with that, let's get started. Thank you.